Frisco? Yoo-hoo. Great, all this stuff is gone. You know what that means? You probably left town. Maybe not. Who are you calling? Felicia. It's busy. You don't think the two of them ran off together, do you? Considering everything that's happened this week, anything is possible. Well, we ain't open yet. Okay. I no reason to leave, friend. Thought you said you weren't open. Just wanted a beer. A beer might be arranged. <laughs> Looks to me like the price might be a little too high. Could be free. Free? That's a first. Do I get the beer? One beer coming up. At the hat trick, we aim to please. Thank you. Who no knows that you were up here? Have you heard from Frisco? No, but maybe these will explain things. Frisco told Pinella to give them to you. Tony. I had to get away. I know you're going to anyway, but please don't worry about me. I'm fine. Don't let Colton know I'm gone. I've got my reasons. I don't know if and when I'll be back, but I'll try to call Frisco. What's yours say? Now, so should I say Gracie? Sorry, I couldn't see you before I split. Be good while I'm gone, Frisco. P.S. You look great at the awards ceremony. He saw me. I was real proud of you. Well, at least we know he's okay. But we don't know where he went. I do have my suspicions, though. I should have never told him Felicia was going to Texas. Man, you don't think he's dumb enough to have followed her, do you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. But Colton's not going to be too happy with this. No, he's not. There's been enough trouble between the two of them. So, until we're sure, we're not going to say anything to Colton, right? Okay. Let's go. Yeah. I'm fine. Just passing through? That's right. You can't get a lot of travelers in here. Not much to do between trains in this town. Hey, if it's poker tonight, Decker, you can count me in. <laughs> I only do card tricks, Michael. <laughs> yeah, sure you do. What, do you think you can deal me a full house, then? Everybody's got to win sometime. Yeah, well, tonight is my lucky night. Yeah? Hi. Hi. Can I get you a beer? No, I'm fine. My name is Phoebe. I work here. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Phoebe. Is it the first time you've been in here? Yeah. You, um, a magician? Why would you think I'm a magician? Well, a lot of them come in here. You know, that's why people come in, to see the tricks. Card tricks? Yeah. You call poker a card trick? Oh, that. Decker just does that to make the regulars happy. I see. Well, nobody really takes it seriously. Although, you know, you can make a lot of money. Why don't you play a hand? Come on, it might be your lucky night. Oh, I don't know much about poker. Well, just a little, one little hand. Hey, Phoebe, quit hassling the man. What? I just thought he might want to play a hand, that's all. Not everybody knows how to play the game, Phoebe, if the man wants in. Man will say so. Deal me in. Well, nobody's forcing you, friend. Well, I've seen a few hands played before. I'll try my luck. All right. <laughs> Jack's voice. Ooh. One second. <laughs> Three bullets. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, I'm busted again. Yeah, Better luck next You're time, boys. Every night he does this. Now, one more my Every money. Night. What do you say? You and me. One more hand. I don't think so. Come on. Pretty good at this game. It's luck of the draw. Not necessarily. 
I've seen guys with great hands just blow it. Play almost as good as I do. What do you say? How would you like to double your money? Yeah. All you have to do is find the pee. I didn't think they did this anymore. Oh, they do when there's money on the line. What do you say, traveler? Keep your eye on the show. Be my guest. Only well, gonna do it once. So keep a close watch. Round and around and around she goes. Where she stops. You tell me. Get out. So your That's Marty's owner. Told you, Decker. One more time, and you were out of here. Cool out, Marty. Nothing's going on. Look, it's... What's all this money from, then, huh? Selling beer? Now, you've conned your last customer. Now get out. I hate to interrupt, but there's been no one conned. Who are you? I'm one of your customers. I happened to be passing by, and I needed a change for a large bill. This gentleman was smart enough to accommodate me. You're lucky to have such employees. Well, at the hat trick, we aim to please. <laughs> I might have to recommend this place to my business associates. Oh. Well, but that's all. But you watch your step, Decker. <laughs> All right, give me my money. Give me my money? You mean to tell me you still want your money after I just saved your job? I appreciate that. But I earned that money. Well, don't Parents worry. Pay. You'll have a chance to win it back someday. Phoebe! Hmm? I'm moving to that table, and I would like another baru. Yes, sir. God, I like his style. What do you know about style? Just give me another beer, will you? Hurry up, hurry up. I don't think he's going anywhere. Here. Oh, sorry. Stretch those legs all you want. Oh, well, aren't you going to welcome me aboard? You didn't really think I was going to let you get away from me that easily, did you? I left for Charles to get away from you. That's because you're afraid. Of you? You're afraid of your feelings for me. Oh, don't flatter yourself. Hmm? I like your hair. I did it just for you, maybe. Mm -hmm. You did it as a disguise, because you know if I saw you getting on this train, I would have never gotten on the train. Why aren't you in the hospital? Because I want to be with you. I want to make love to you. I, I want you hold... off the train right now, right now. Well, I just got here. 
two minutes. Two? Okay, two minutes. Go on. I hope I can stay conscious in those two minutes. I'm very weak, you know. I got a fever and I... Tony said I should probably stay in bed for about a week. Oh, or so. Are you all right? Well, it's very painful, that's all. Did you see what... Did I show you where they operated? Mm -hmm. It's right in there. I want you off the train right now. I'm sorry. All right, then I'll have somebody kick you off. That door's locked. All right. You know, I noticed that uh, you're not wearing your wedding ring. That's because I'm not married anymore. Not to anybody. I've waited two years for this. Like this? I'm going with you to Mariah's. No, you like it or not. you're not. You're going to get off this train right now. Not without you, I'm not. Well, then I'm getting off. Not without me, you Oh, stop this! As soon as you make a decision. What's the decision? Are we getting off the train together? Or are we staying on the train? <laughs> we aren't doing anything. Stay right here. I'm sorry. Get up! Come on! I just sat down. Would you mind? You're determined to follow me, aren't you? I am. Fine. But you're gonna have to find someplace else to sleep. Okay. Looks to me like... The only logical place is that fold-out bed up there. If you're available, oh, I have to be ready. Oh, does it! What? What? What does it? What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm getting off this chair. Well, here, let them help you. No, I can do it think. just fine. Well, I... okay. well, where do you think you're going? I'm going to follow you to the next oh, train. Oh, no, you're not. Please, 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 don't waste your breath. You better hurry. You don't want to have to jump off a moving train. I love you. Wait for me. Hi. Hi. Hey. No, nope. no, no. Come on in. <laughs> How's Frisco? I wouldn't know. He left town. What? Isn't he at the hospital? He's supposed to be, but he isn't. Where'd he go? Good question, Holly. <sighs> he left without telling anyone? That's about it, but I do have a pretty good idea. I think he went after Felicia. Oh, no. Colton dropped her off at the station. Well, if you, he'd seen Frisco, he... No, 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 no. He couldn't have seen Frisco. He stopped by here a little while ago. He was upset, but he didn't say a word about Frisco. Well, I don't think we should say a word to him about it. You're right. He's already upset about Felicia. If you ever found out that Frisco might be following her, I don't know what he'd do. I don't think we should say anything. Look, I don't think we should say anything. Not until we know. That certainly lasted a long time, didn't it? What? Peace and quiet. You must be mistaken. I have been cleaning out this station for 15 years, girlie. I know the schedule. Oh. I can't believe this. There's not another train until tomorrow. 
This is all your fault. Me? Oh, no, wait a minute. If it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, we could be snuggled up nice and cozy in that train compartment together right now. No, that's not true. Yes, it's true. Stop it! I have to sleep on these tonight. No, I have a solution to that also. Here, let me take that. No, I've got it. There's a motel a couple blocks from here. I'm sure they've got a room for us. Two rooms. Otherwise, you're out on the street. We'll discuss the sleeping arrangements when we arrive, okay? Hungry. <laughs> so what's new? I could have had a great meal on the train, but no, not because of you. There's a nice place right next to the motel called the Hat Trick. Great food. How do you know this town? Well, I checked it out while I was waiting for you in your little train. The Hat Trick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds like a place you'd go to. Oh, you'll like it. They have magic there. Good. Maybe they'll make you disappear. She loves me. I know we can. 